live from the left corner of Austin, where Justin is, let's face it, rapidly diminishing returns on how nice he's ever going to be. It's going to be a great night. Now, don't say the N-word and help me suffer through my Savaros phase, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Hells yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, what do you say? You want to you buy a franchise? Um, you want to know what? I've been thinking about it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait, a food franchise? A, a, a UCB franchise? Uh, uh, what do you think would be the... I, I'm in here. I'm in it for the money. I'm in it for the return, Ooh. my man. Okay, all right. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not into this nickel and diamond bullshit. Okay. I need to make... I need to stack green... Uh, I need to make paper. <laughs> I need, I need, I need, I need zeros and decimals. I think I'm picking up what you're I need, down. I need numbers, Chachi. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's what so I'm happens, about. I got a phone call from somebody selling franchises oh. or synonym services. Synonym services. Oh yeah, people. They 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 have one word. They've already said that word. They need another word. Yeah. Synonym sir. Synonym. Mm, take two. Mm. Synonym services. Sam here. Okay. All right. Now here's the thing. You have to dress like synonym services. Sam. What does synonym services Sam dress like? However you look, but with a big mustache. <laughs> So I got to change my outfit depending on who I'm talking to? No, you keep the, uh, just add a mustache. when you, It's part of the, the story Bible that, that synonym Sam. Oh, oh, however I dress. Like, I don't have to be a chameleon. No, and, correct. And if I know, like, I have to do my research, and if there's a lady who's wearing, like, a big hoop skirt, I got to put on a big hoop skirt and wear a mustache. Exactly. Not that. Right. I just have to dress like I'm dressed right now, yep. which is right now a a, a bartender <laughs> on South Beach. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and uh, but I have to have a mustache. But but the uniform is yeah. a big mustache, right? Okay. Uh, and 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 of course, per per the story Bible, you have to say, um, uh, uh, "Howdy, salutations, buongiorno, ciao." It's me, synonym Sam. Howdy, salutations, buongiorno, ciao. It's me, synonym Sam. Right. And then you have to laugh at your own joke and say, ha ha, we're not a translation service. <laughs> <laughs> we're not a translation service. Okay. Give me 20 can bucks. I, can I pause you right? For, yeah, sure, right? sure. This is going great. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty good. I, I, mean, like I feel, I feel yeah. like, uh, uh, okay, maybe I just made up the character. Maybe I just made up the entire franchise. But we will accept your $20 right now <laughs> to everybody who can hear. Or those who can't hear. He's just walked off. He was so offended. <laughs> like, either either I really offended him or I'm about to get $20. Oh, boy. He's got... Oh, he's watching oh, that cash. Oh. Zoom, in, zoom in on this. Le, le, that's look, 20. look at that $20 bill. That. That's $20. That, that that's, that's fiat back. American currency, baby. Fe, the, I can get that, fiat that, with that? that? Yeah, that's, that's what I like to call... It used to be twenty three dollars at the beginning of the year. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. right there okay, you. okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna make I'm gonna twist this into a mustache and give it back to you. <laughs> uh, uh, you should eat it. Okay, really? Yeah, if you want to. Uh, Just well, eat I, that money. I'd really rather not. Is that gross? Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. Do do as you will. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna save it for later, like a tasty sandwich. That's a good idea. I got low energy tonight. Yeah. Uh, do you have low E? I have low energy, man. I didn't get shit for sleep last night. We were we we're going to talk about we were we were over at Heaton's place, but I think so. It's Prosecco, fault. no Prosecco's fault. It's these dirty Italians. I almost <laughs> use a dirty I almost Italians. Use, I almost use a slur. A, a synonym, uh, yeah, for Italian. <laughs> you yeah. almost busted out your I character. Almost, synonym I almost, Sam. yeah, I almost said well, a what, slur what for might Italian. Synonym Sam <laughs> said about about. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, 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 your, your 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 children used to have a pet that was a blank pig. <laughs> uh, uh, racist. A racist pig? I, I don't know. Your kids had a racist pig. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've had a lot of pets that you don't know about. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there was one pig. That Boy, did that. <laughs> we had to take down his blog. Because we're like, well, we would do, this should we violate would play TOS. <laughs> we would, we would you gather can't around. say that pig. <laughs> we were his little hooves were just like, like shut up, cuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now's a good time for me to shut up. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, uh, we had a party. We were up late last night. No, yeah, that's right. I, I didn't. I, I didn't get a good night's sleep, man. I was just lying around. I was tossing and turning. I, 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 I no, I'm in a valley, man. I'm in. I'm in. A, I'm in an energy valley. Dude, I my my car is at the bottom of it. I can see up to the top, and I'm just. I got no gas in the tank. Oh, okay. Man. Well, I, have, I got I have, no gas. Do you, do you need an, an E infusion? Because if you text me promo code hooray, uh, I'll bring Andrew Heaton up here and we'll give you an infusion of energy, the likes of which you've never experienced. Whoop. <laughs> uh, uh, ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Andrew, Andrew Heaton. Heaton. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one. Oh, here he goes. Oh, God. Here he goes. He's oh, looping around. Be very careful. This is not a run he took, studio. He's an energy vamp. This he is a walk is, around. Man. He's studio. firing up this I, guy. I always feel so much better when Justin's tired. I'm yeah. thrilled to be here. It's a good, it's a good time. Uh, Justin brought up something uh, in, in, interesting, which is that you guys see each other a lot, and I see you pretty rarely. And uh, uh, so I'm all like, we're going to have Andrew on the show. And Justin's like, Again, huh? <laughs> what, wasn't it uh, uh, like last week? I was like, no, I think it's been a minute. He's like, whatever, not long enough. <laughs> we well, first of all, we we literally had tacos uh, this afternoon for lunch, and I watched you sleep last night. So from my perspective, <laughs> I've had lots and lots of Brian time, more Brian time than you've had Andrew time. Uh, can I confess something? Yes. Uh, I thought a surprise party for somebody who had just conducted international travel was going to be the worst idea on the planet. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. That sounds like we're getting into our first subject. Topic. Oh, no, I gave a our synonym. First topic is Heaton surprising party. Hey, Brian, I heard a rumor that you had some dicey thoughts about how this was gonna go. I thought it was literally the worst possible idea on the planet. <laughs> Some people would say brave. Some people would say visionary. Some people would say audacious. Do you have $20? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> let's, because let's, I have an opportunity for you. <laughs> let's, let, let's reset for everybody uh, uh, who isn't our friend and went to this party. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. what happened. Uh, I'm dating a woman, a human woman. Hey! Round of applause. Thank Round of applause. Much. Yeah. Uh, and she, she lives in the night. For the record, she's here and she didn't <laughs> applaud. <laughs> uh, um, she came over on Saturday night, and I thought, wouldn't it be great to introduce her to some of my friends? But wouldn't it make her feel even more welcome by having my friends jump out of a closet while waving British flags? And that is exactly what we did yesterday. We threw Kate a surprise party 48 hours after she came into town. So how did you know that this would be met with joy and not anger? <laughs> uh, well, I told or, or, or at the very least, I would think perfunctory like like she would just be a receiving a very tired woman mm, in a yes. receiving line saying oh thank you thank you for coming to my she, surprise she do party the queen thing and just yes yeah, very good i didn't want to go there i mean i was like, i was like, gonna call it the yeah, joe biden queen thing but yeah. the queen's dead yeah <laughs> don't get me started i'm gonna get into that okay no, don't get it, me started on it. that i i uh i tried to to cleverly breach like it, in pre preparing the trip Ah, the clever hey, breach. What if we had dinner on Sunday, the day after you get in with some of my friends? And she said, Well, I might be jet lagged at that time. I don't know what's going on. I was like, Oh, no problem. I'll push back the surprise party by a day. That'll be sufficient time. That'll do it. And then, uh, to be real careful, I was like, By the way, Brian and Bonnie might swing by later for an easy house call. She said you know, that would be okay. As we do on our 20 minute commute <laughs> to just. Double check and that, make sure that, downtown was still there. But she doesn't know Austin <laughs> geography, right? Like, you could be in Waco. Wait a minute. Brian lives out in your Sunset Valley. That's not possible. None of this adds up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that, that is where this, this, uh, the duplicity started to break down a little bit. Because we were going to dinner, and Kate's like, so they're not going to dinner with us? And I was like, oh, no, 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 they're coming by after. They I hate I, to eat the I, I, I messed up about the dinner thing. She's like, do you have drinks or anything? And I was like, 
a, a non-alcoholic beer. And so she's like, so Brian and Bonnie are going to come by for not dinner or drinks? And I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Worry also, about is it inbounds to say what her day job is? Uh, I think so. she's a detective coach. She t- coaches detectives. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, 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 okay. I'm, she's, she's, I'm going to say, probably the top global detective coach. Wow. Uh, wow. And so you fool They me. all get to nationals. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so, so you believe that you've been found out? Um, Were you found to be a fraud? Wait, are we talking? Are we saying that you're lying? At this point, you're are, we, are we still doing the? Because she figured out it's a surprise party. That's been like over twenty four hours now. That, like, is that what we're talking about? We're talking about the detective. No, 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 no. no. Really, up. really, really. No, this In is, the this moment, is, this is this is this is still all preamble because what Brian wants to feel is kinship with your your girlfriend because he thought this was. A very dumb idea. No, and just dangerous. He, dangerously well, dumb. Hey, yes, poor, okay. poor Heaton <laughs> hates to yeah. have this well, I was, party. She's yeah. real quick with a knife. I was afraid she'd get scared <laughs> and slash somebody, but well, it uh, didn't happen. Luckily, luckily for me, I was late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I wasn't no. there. Uh, unluckily for me and my wife, we were the first ones there. Mm-hmm. So we come in the side. You leave your door open. We come in the side door, and we're like about 10 minutes early, but... Literally no one else. Just your dog. Your dog's sitting there. Thank God your dog's By the way, friendly. great dog. Guard dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strangers come in. You're like, what up? Yeah. Hey, what's he, going on? I'm totally farted a lot. So if, if he did if, fart if, a lot, he, yeah, he could scare away burglars that way. But we uh, we're, we're there, and then all of a sudden we hear creaks, and we're like, "Fuck!" Like they're coming home. We're the only people here. <laughs> like I don't know how much Heaton's been planning for two, his girlfriend to come into town. Surprise party. I, I don't south, know yeah. whether. It, I'll just say. Knowing you and knowing how much you had on your plate, not impossible yeah. that you would Entirely invite possible. six people and only me and Ashley would show up on time. <laughs> I, like, I would say 50 50. I think and all six would eventually show we up. We were at 50 50 about 3 p.m. So yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, so we're there, and all of a sudden we hear like creaks, and we like hide in the corner. And, and thank God it wasn't you guys, it was other people that were there for the surprise party. But we realized as we were about to leap from your couch, uh, 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 to the the doorway with a gigantic English flag, like Saint George's Cross, yeah. uh, that we would look a lot like a home invasion. <laughs> and 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 considering I now know that she is deft with a blade, like I would be, I would be uh, 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 very very scared that she would just slash the uh, slash the, the the flag in half and and split us in twain. Quick, uh, uh, we we now put it on the bed. We have an English bed. Thank you. You've given us a bed deck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We put the flag on uh, this morning. Quick question: How do you determine that it's not Heaton and his girlfriend coming in? Like, like they didn't like, do go you behind the couch. Go, hello, it's a couch. <laughs> no, well, that, <laughs> someone asked to <laughs> Heaton. <laughs> <Wallace, like, laughs> <"Hello." laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Wallace doesn't usually talk after eight p.m. <laughs> they, they, oh, I'm talking out my butt. <laughs> They came in the side door, which was our first clue, but uh, they didn't come in the front. But we did realize that if uh, we ever do find ourselves home invading and somebody does come home, we can just yell surprise. Yep. And, and then we're like, what the fuck? There's no surprise party. You're like, oh, shit. Is that not in this house? <laughs> oh, egg on my face. Uh, don't look at your jewels. I, Bye. You, you, you laugh, but I have literally invited you to a party and sent you to the wrong house that you entered. We, that we actually were in, happened. We were in Nashville. I almost two, got shot. Two, oh, wow. Years ago, and I, I like we we were in for Politicon. Yeah. And I I was staying with some friends on the edge of town, and I was like, hey, they we're doing a party tonight. If you want to come to the party, and you you call me and you're like, where is this party? And I'm like, it's just it's in the garage, and you're like. I don't know, all the house, uh, the lights are off in the house. I, I'm not, I was like, you are in somebody else's. And yep, you just, Nashville being a friendly place, the front door was open. Justin walked right in. I, wa- I walk in and I see a pile of children's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this doesn't seem like the bohemian, like <laughs> swinging pot smokers club that I thought I was taking this 20 minute Uber ride because, of course, it's Nashville. The, the Uber driver has to play me his demo. And like, please I, tell I, me that's real. For real. Oh, 100% that's awesome. correct. Uh, uh, and then I'm like, I need to exit stage left here. Just moonwalk on out of this house before I get fucking shot justifiably. And uh, so, so, so at that point, you have the negotiation in your mind. Like, do you want to tiptoe? Because there's one way to definitely get shot, and that's to be caught tiptoeing out of somebody's no, house. I, 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 think, I, I think you'd have to say loudly, "Whoops!" And I then just back out. I mean, like that was like the, the the thing in my head that was about to happen that didn't was me just going. 
he turned. <laughs> like, which would have definitely gotten me shot. Like, there's no way that, like, like, like that, that would have been, you know, the example number one of, like, some fucked up thing or some drunk thing for which I would have probably been, been, uh, 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 you know. I, I, I think we're onto something with with the surprise thing. Yeah, like like the, the the one I've come up with is if you ever get in the wrong Uber or the wrong like say you think you're getting in an Uber and you just get in the wrong car, it's just somebody's car, and they turn around and just go drive drive, <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll think that someone's going to kill them, but they'll drive. And then you just sort it later. This, sort it this later. is my favorite Uber bit. Whenever you go to an Uber or Lyft and you open the door and then you say your name or they say your name, and they're like Justin, you just look them dead in the eye and go it's a me. <laughs> It never you, fails to get wait, a laugh for me. Have, have, you, have you actually done that? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. They don't really get it. <laughs> but like, I do. <laughs> and it's the thought that counts. So uh, how quickly does your... Are we allowed to say your girlfriend's name? I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I'm, it's Kate, She's right? nodding. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, right. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Kate. So, okay. Kate. Uh, Kate. Her, Kate. We're going with that one. name is Catherine. Yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it at Kate for now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so uh, like, does she instantly respond with delight? Like, at some level, this maybe was expected, or is there like a weird negotiation of like, uh, do I need to get that knife and uh, burst into tears? <laughs> no, got really mad at yeah. me. Knocked yeah. it like just shoved a whole table over, knocked all the plateware. I, I would say stunned, pleasant, pleasantly stunned, maybe. Yeah. How, yeah. Now we're just looking at Kate yeah. and yeah, she like kabukis I, 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 her way through this. Yeah. Over yeah. Here. Anyway, right. so yeah, it, uh, amazing, uh, uh, super fun night. Uh, the one note I had was that for whatever reason you were there, we were there for like two hours, and you did not remove your coat, so you just looked like a Dickensian villain the entire time. <laughs> like you didn't get comfortable in your own house. I am most comfortable when dressed like a Dickensian villain. <laughs> so it makes when a lot of sense for an, an immediate dressing escape. that way in my home. I come home and add layers. So uh, <laughs> it was the perfect size crowd for, uh, for your he place. He goes to sleep in a hazmat suit. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that I could say this about many parties I've been to recently, but I got to have meaningful conversations with every single person at the entire party. And at some point, uh, my, my hoodie, I think I had drink Including my dog. arm or something. Oh, or the dog's butt. <laughs> Well, Dog fired it. He was fired to lie. He was fired. Yeah, he was very uh, petulant. But but like right at that end of the you know it's like well how's it gonna wrap up? We've all said hello. We've all had meaningful exchanges. And uh, uh, my hoodie draped over my arm. I turn and all of a sudden uh, I knock your uh, coffee press, your French press, yeah, mm-hmm. in, into the uh, the sink. And it goes ka-ching, ka-ching, and then and then uh, dead silence. Everybody goes dead silent. And I look, and it's like, it's broke. I, yeah. I broke some shit. And I said, well, now it's a party. Dead silence for 1,000, 1, 1,000, 1,000, 3,000. And I don't know who did it. It must have been you. Fucking Justin goes, Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila. And then we I ran out of the words. The <laughs> I, just know, I know the beginning. <laughs> Uh, it was it was maybe the best ending to a party I've experienced <laughs> in the last three years. I'm always gonna break stuff when I leave now, <laughs> and then and then yell "Hava Nagila" yeah, without I, explanation. Then I showed up with a new French press. <laughs> you did, uh, actually, not even a new one. I just gave you our old one. <laughs> even better. I like. Why would you yeah. admit to that? You book. had you had it in the bag. Why would you admit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because because he knows. <laughs> uh, he. He fumbled that bag like he did the no, French that, that press. Was, that was like oh. the, the, the opposite of a party foul. Uh, like, you, you acceptable to accidentally break something at a party. I wasn't very worked up about it. Uh, and then within 12 hours, you were over at my house with a replacement French press. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was great. I You're feel kind of bad about stealing some of your other French presses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to do that in retrospect. You know, now that I think about it, I should never have built that French press factory in the back of my house. <laughs> uh, Bryce, next stop is... God bless the anthem. All right. Ooh, getting real. Let me let me get a beer. Let me ask you this. Hi. When you were a child, yeah. What was the name of the United Kingdom's anthem? God save the Queen. When you were fifteen. <laughs> What was the name of the United Kingdom's anthem? God Save the Queen. 
Five years ago, what was the name of the United Kingdom's anthem? I think still God Save the Queen. Right now, as I talk to you on this set for Great Night, what is the name of the United Kingdom's anthem? God Save the King. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. Right? <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, wait, okay, okay. Which was Fucking more? Finally, this dude has no. been a sand in my ass cracked about this for the last forty-eight hours. He's like, "Hey, fuck you, man. You got to deal with it. The queen's dead. Long live the king. I'm a fucking monarchist now. I'm Brian Brunswood." That's, and I'm that's like, true. I did say all that. This shit is fucking Bernstein bears all over again. This is Mandela <laughs> dying in prison. You don't fucking. There's a reason why Orwell came from the United Kingdom. You can't just fucking <laughs> newspeak this shit. Either it's called God. God save the queen for the rest of fucking time or it's not. I agree. I think that Charles should have had to become the new queen. And Fuck he should have had to wear a dress and wear the queen's hat and like stuff. At, at some point, look, it's just a song about a person. Yeah, it doesn't you know, have to the, be the, about the, the, that and person. As, the, you don't the, find replace everything. The Dutch national anthem has a line about the Spanish monarchy because when they wrote the song, they were like a province of Spain, but they didn't update that. Oh, that was kind of lazy, the Dutch. Uh, Your Honor. If you were to see Billy Joel live, would you be upset if the lyrics of We Didn't Start the Fire continued to describe events after the release of We Didn't Start the Fire? Uh, what? If it, if it took away the lyrics that I knew, yes, I would be mad. Yeah, but what if it just added to it? So, all right. If I, up to the moment of the concert, and now you're all in the room, <laughs> we are having a concert, I'm Billy Joel, and I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> I love mac and cheese, and I have bad knees, and I'm getting old, and welcome to Madison. I, 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 I very actually much look, look forward to dementia version <laughs> of that song. I, 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 I also, I don't, I, I don't want to be macabre and, and I hope it's a long time until this happens, but I do hope that's how he dies. <laughs> that he's narrating his own his now own I'm final breath. In the bed yeah. and, I'm a to and that's like, like, and then I took my final breath. <laughs> 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 he died doing what he loved. Exactly. Spirit guard. Not starting the fire. <laughs> Not starting the fire. Uh, that he's cremated. Uh, yeah, you yeah. know what? I, I think you've talked me into it. Uh, oh, let's uh. Shit. So, oh, I, 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 My I, energy's back now. So, uh, now all we have to do is seduce the king. <laughs> and get, I get just, him. No, like, it's just bullshit. The <laughs> fuck? It was one thing, now it's another thing all of a sudden? Uh, how, how did you feel the first time they changed it? I, I wasn't alive for it. Uh, okay. How about you just make it about the band? The, hold on, go on. God save the queen. Just oh, make it the about, band Just queen? make it about the band. I now like it's that. about the band. You don't have to change it anymore. It was a great uh, group. Yeah. Uh, forgive me. Big box office we're, on Bohemian Rhapsody. Were, mm -hmm. were yeah. they British? Mm -hmm. Queen? Yeah. Yeah, Queen, Queen was British. Yeah. <laughs> Let it sit. <laughs> I mean, I assume they're British because the one member of Queen that was in the Weird Al Yankovic biopic was British. <laughs> Wait, is everything you know about Queen from the Weird Al biopic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, I think and, they're British. and 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 uh, Flash Gordon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you? Did yeah. you not see the Queen? That was movie? a really good soundtrack. This no, I, I, I have. I, I've actually. That seemed like a candy treat that I wanted to get around to seeing, and that I never did. Dude, there's a scene where Mike Myers plays the record executive mm -hmm. uh, for Queen, and he shoehorns in a Wayne's World reference into the biopic of Queen. Uh, so, like, uh, basically performing an in joke for himself he's he's doing a mike myers fucking accent where he's like like oh yeah i'm i'm, I'm the old stodgy british record executive yep. you don't want Bohemian Rhapsody to be the single. But, I'm in love with my car. But, That's a song that people can headbang to during a movie in the 90s. <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, Kate, was that an accurate British accent? No, hold on. Was that an accurate Mike Myers British accent? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That you was said, pretty good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Justin? Yeah. I thought it was the Baron Stain Bears. Oh, no. Don't you do it. This is the fucking Are problem. They, they're, they're they're the the ones don't you do it. They killed Mandela. Is that how that they're works? They're getting, yeah. <laughs> Actually, fucking should, bears. What a great movie that would be. <laughs> it's like a, the false reality of the Mandela. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, dude, just do like a big, like, like all end of game of yep. all the Mandela effects. Yeah. Yep. 
the they just did that on yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Inside Job. There's a new. There's a oh dog. They it. like literally nice. just did that. But they did it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, did you just say just as bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Am I being gaslit? It, did I misremember that? Okay. All right. No, I didn't say. What the fuck? No, no I didn't no. say that. Uh, this I, bit is not going to be good if you agree with it. Uh. Because the, the whole bit was that you were making fun of me for being a dipshit for this what? take. And now you actually just agreed with one of the dumbest fucking takes I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> this is the whole fucking point of this, is that you rightly point me out to be a dumb fucking trip. <laughs> like, who's just railing about the fact that the moon is made of green cheese. And now you're like, yep, smells like it to me. <laughs> but, but he's nerfed. <laughs> Price next topic! <laughs> Bullshit taste test. Oh, yeah. No, this is bullshit. This is really fucked up. Bullshit taste test. Clap, 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 clap. clap. Bullshit taste Thanks. test. Clap, 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 clap. Do you guys ever buy those ho those holiday cereals? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. Th they're, uh, they're, holiday Harley. Like, it's like Captain Crunch, but he's got like a, a, Santa a vampire hat? teeth. <laughs> or vampire teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Y yeah. It's usually where they throw the like B grade uh, cereal and sell it for stupid cheap because uh, it's not uh, good. <laughs> and so, uh, knowing all that, I went and <laughs> bought some anyway <laughs> last week. Wait, 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 what are some of your favorite holiday cereals? <laughs> oh, man. I love Christ. Crackers. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I it's love the reason for the season. Yep. Count Chocula Ramadan special is my favorite. Uh, yeah. I, I I love uh, Armistice apples. Oh, those are good. It's yeah. almost as good as Arbor Day Wheaties. Yeah. <laughs> Arbor Day Wheaties. Day it's Wheaties just a great. tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wheaties, just Wheaties with leaves in it. I like. I like. Oops. All werewolves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like Juleps. <laughs> One with thousand. We got an audible of fucking thousand. No. So I went and bought. No. <laughs> Sorry. You'll know. No, we're, walk no. we're trying to walk by it. Are we walking by <laughs> it? We're walking by that one. <laughs> Monica. I ended right. up picking up a box of these uh, a while ago. What, can someone read? Yeah. What, uh, it it looks like bat flavored Reese's Puff. <laughs> Boy, what a departure from the yeah. brand. I did not see Normally, that coming. No more peanut butter. <laughs> bat flavor. No bat brains. Have you ever and eaten chocolate. bat? Listen. You want to get you revved up in the morning? Bats. Sandra, bring in the bats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, you'll notice there's a bunch of bats flying around. Listen, everybody you kill a bat. <laughs> You eat a donut, you're going to have a sugar crash. You eat a bat, that's protein you're going to have all day. We fortified it with vitamin K. Bats. Bats give you wings. It's arguably paleo. So I bought these things because I wanted, I wanted a peanut butter and chocolate experience, right? That's the cereal I wanted. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought I was going to get. You thought I mean, you were get peanut butter and chocolate. And chocolate. It's fucking called Reese's Puffs Bats. So you just thought it was the regular Reese's Puffs. They were just shaped amusingly like bats because it's Halloween? What? Oh, right. Okay. Or, or oh, that, shit, that would make think, sense. You, think you, think you, you just said something very sensible, but you said it in like a sarcastic <laughs> way where it'd be like the president say, like, uh, I guess... We're under attack? <laughs> Do you think that this is where COVID came from? <laughs> the Reese's Puffs bad? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to make up for no, Jew that's, that's No, that's... No, I'm trying no, to make up for Jew no, Hold on. No, I remember. Dig, hold on. I tried, I tried, to, I tried to throw a co origin of COVID joke <laughs> over no, I, that I, I think you over saved that it. Thing. You, you saved it. Uh, yeah. Because you remember Fauci gave that speech. Yeah. yeah. How did it go again? Oh, Bryce, was play, like, play back the Fauci yeah. speech. Oh, sure. announced where COVID yeah. came from. Click. <laughs> COVID came from... A racist puff bat who zoonotically transferred, zoonotically transferred from another Fruit Loop esque in a wet market in Wuhan, China. Uh, it was seasonal, and apparently it tasted fucked up because Bryce didn't like it. I, I'm so blame Bryce for the lockdown. <laughs> I'm out of government now. <laughs> Bye. And then he threw a ninja smoke bomb and backflipped out. <laughs> it turned into a bat. <laughs> yeah. Flew away. Yeah. Back. <laughs> what a fucking twist. <laughs> what a like, twist. I can actually turn into a bat and he's like, guess what? It was me all along. I butt fucked the pangolin. <laughs> 
and now we're all sick. <laughs> Except for me. I'm a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> These are real now. <laughs> Fauci out. Bestiality <laughs> Fauci. <laughs> so I, I bought these. I thought I would get both. on the pipe organ. <laughs> yeah. It's Biden with a fucking Phantom of the Opera mask. <laughs> I thought I was going to get peanut butter and chocolate. Uh, gentlemen, there's a little cup up there on that on that stage there. I've given oh. you some of these Reese's Puffs bats. I would like you to try them because I didn't taste one goddamn grain of chocolate. Now there are there are two pieces here. There are light brown and then dark brown. Should we grab one of each? Uh do uh, uh, Here we go. Grab do, grab one, grab of, one each. of each. Pass, pass and, it and down. I, I guess if we wanted to uh sure. be as blind is, as is, a bat is that a traditional uh, uh cereal tasting glass? Uh, it's got that vacuum seal in it yeah, to, to keep the, the cereal the right temperature. Uh, actually, uh, uh, this cost us a thousand dollars. That's right, uh, from yeah, the yeah. Reese's company. Yeah, yeah that that's, says because there was a coupon on the back. Cereal Glen Cairn. Bryce, Bryce is a cereal Molier. <laughs> okay, mm. all right. Yeah, so, okay. So I, I guess so, we okay, got we'll there. Take, we'll take the two. So yeah, yeah try try so one. Don't know. First off, smell them because they look just the uh, the audio. If the audience is unable smells to tell, like Reese's sm- it, 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 it does smell like <laughs> peanut <Yeah>. butter. <laughs> Bryce just dumped a shit ton of fucking cereal all over his. Keyboard. Not a lot of them. Okay, Not a we lot got of them. Back. Just an embarrassing amount of cereal. It's just only a few. <laughs> fucking all over the place. <laughs> like I'm they, counting they, them. Oh my god. Five, six days only before we get it all out. But it's got like we should be blinded. It's got like the everybody just. Tweet Bryce. Uh, oh my God! I can't believe you spilled all that cereal. It's, Dude, uh, it's even got like the, the covering, like salted peanuts. Do uh, almost like you, it, you mean salt? No, no, no. It is. But, it is like sugar blasted. Like, like it is. It like it has yeah. crystal. It has is crystals on it. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, try they one. Do you look taste? like they kind of look like uh, uh, Teddy Grahams, but. Oh, uh, they do kind of. But do you right. do you taste any chocolate? I don't taste any chocolate. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna eat it right now. It? I'm eating it. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, three, wait, two, wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, both, 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 both of them. Both. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Three, oh, two, I'm one. Sorry, oh. Do you get any motherfucking chocolate in that? I mean, I feel like we should have done one at a it time. It tastes but more like artificial bullshit peanut butter than artificial bullshit chocolate. Yes. Uh, that that if if you're looking for that artificial chocolate. Mm. It, and it, I am. It's just initially. What once the initial taste there, it's ju- you're just eating some kind of fiber. Like it's it's all crunch. There's would, no would there's you, no lasting to would it. Would you prefer it, uh, Bryce, if huh. if that each individual I'm one, like, more in my mouth the dark ones? <laughs> that, uh, would I would I prefer it if the if the, the dark ones darker ones tasted more... chocolatey and the light ones tasted peanut but peanut buttery? Uh, I I get I I, I no I wouldn't mind I would I wouldn't care either way I want what? I just want. The chocolate flavor. There's none flavor to be found per my taste. They, Bryce, they why, why, little why didn't you just theme. buy Reese's Pieces? It sounds like that's what your heart wanted. Why did you Why did you go buy cereal that was pretending to be Reese's Pieces? It sounds like you're being held back. You're being held back by bullshit society that's telling you that you yeah. can't eat Reese's Pieces for breakfast. Uh, for breakfast. I, I, have, I have three <laughs> pancakes and a shot of bourbon every morning because I'm a man. Exactly. <laughs> We're saying press. throw off the yoke of traditional fucking society and let your freak flag fly. I'm going to go get you a Reese's Pieces cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He really is. Do it for breakfast. Uh, I usually go to the all day Reese's okay. Pieces Mart uh, <laughs> <laughs> over in Sunset Valley. I probably shouldn't have built one of those behind my hey, house. <laughs> hey, hey, Bryce. Yes, yep. Brett. Uh, uh, Did you, would you like some? I, I would. I well, I don't know now after watching everybody else's face when it came to this. Oh. But I, I, I'm in solution mode for you right now, uh, and I'm thinking uh, cocoa pebbles mm. and uh, yeah. And oh, mix cocoa pebbles in there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, no, just get some cocoa pebbles and Jesus Christ, why is all this cereal here? <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, there's so much cereal. Oh Jesus. There's just cereal all over here. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, look at all the cereal. What are you doing? Actually drop some. Yeah. Here's there's you get you have two to eat right now. Okay. But then save this one for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I I will agree with you though. This 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 is straight up garbage. It's right here. It's bad because yeah. it's holiday no, cereal for it's sure. Bats. Yeah. Fuck! You nailed him. <laughs> I'm nailed. You nailed, nailed so him. You nailed so the shit out. That, of that's like I mean, fuck. Yeah, Bre- Bryce, was your soul not enlivened by the delightful <laughs> shape of bats? 
<laughs> no. It didn't have a, a, a willowing effect for you. you? Mean, Especially you mean, not when they look like mean, fucking Teddy Graham. Can't ta- yeah, do you, Teddy Graham. Do you, can't all right, question. Do you think that like they sell that as a Halloween can or a Halloween cereal all over the country, and then when they're stuck with it, they're like, well, fuck it, we'll unload it in Austin because these motherfuckers <laughs> love that. <laughs> <laughs> ice bats on the hockey rink? Yeah, no, the mm. bats under the bridge, yeah. bats in the belfry. They're bats. baddies. Yeah. Baddie for bats. We know bats. that if if they if next year they have Reese's Puffs bridges and bats, <laughs> <laughs> then then we'll know they're really yep. then we'll know. Us. Hey, Bryce. Yes. You gonna clean that cereal up or what? There's you not you know, <laughs> there's more than I did. Cereal is all you know, because it's very expensive equipment. Also, what's the next topic? <laughs> I'm, uh, am I old timey? Uh, before we get to this, there's somebody wrong in the chat room. They're saying Reese's Pieces don't have chocolate. They're, they're coated in that, uh, uh, there, there's milk chocolate in the candy shell. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, I, it's I not that. Reese's Pieces bats, it's Reese's Puffs Puff bats. bats. So, also, it's not Reese's. <laughs> it's Reese's. So, so <laughs> of the. Come three, on. Hey, only no. three, <laughs> two thirds of the words don't have anything to do with what you wanted, and you're mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's sort I of like Reese's Pieces man, not I shaped like we bats, and you got piece. Reese's yeah. Puffs shaped like bats. So wait, what, 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 yeah, so what is Reese's promise as a brand? When you see chocolate Reese's, peanut butter, diabetes. Diabetes. chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Diabetes is the answer. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it, I, I guess it's sort of like, uh, I want TurboTax. It's like, do you want TurboTax souffle uh, Ford <laughs> automobiles? <laughs> yes. Uh, wait, this isn't doing my taxes at all. <laughs> Never mind. Shouldn't have. Should have just shut. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> hey man, remember let's, when you nailed let's, Bryce? Let's go. Let's go seduce <laughs> yeah. the king. He I nailed it, me. That, mm. It was so good. Nope. Mm. Uh, hey Bryce, oh, this are, you old, are you old timey? <laughs> <laughs> so last week, yeah. uh, I stumped Justin by yeah by saying what, what was it that I said? I said how's tricks. And he didn't know what it oh, was. This was on the bonus. Oh. This was on the bonus episode. So you have to be a patron. Patreon.com slash great night if you want to get our bonus episodes. Uh, but Bryce, before we started, he just rolls up on a penny farthing <laughs> wearing a monocle and a top hat That's with sure. just gorgeous tails. Uh, uh, audio blowing off his coat. Andrew Heaton is fully erect right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if, if I weren't spoken for. Uh, 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 leaping astride, he, he defiantly, hands on hips, declares to me in a bellowing voice, how's tricks? Now, I'm not going to say that I've recently become on guard from being gaslit based on a certain nation's <laughs> national anthem changing, <laughs> but... I was like, "What the fuck, dude? Like, what? I never heard that in my entire life. How, how tricks? Okay, house tricks. How is tricks. is that how you responded when he said it? Because when I walked up, all I know is I walked up and you're like, "Well, the thing about magic is," and you start you're explaining magic tricks. I think you got to oh, go I, hardcore. I don't, I don't, I don't know where we were in the conversation. I was baffled by and gobsmacked, befuddled by whatever Swear came out you. of Sweet Bryce's mouth, and uh, uh, I was just like. Well, I didn't know. I thought he was being dumb. And so I thought I was going to find a kindred spirit with Brian by saying, look at what dumb idiot said, uh, uh, house, house tricks. And then you were like, well, no, that's uh, uh, an old, an old idiom in America. It's written in Latin on every fucking government building. Everybody knows house tricks. And I felt like a real asshole, (laughs) real asshole. House tricks is the sup of 1930. Yeah. Okay, it's, well, wait, apparently what? fucking everyone knew, Here's, and I didn't. It wait. never made its way to me, and and I feel like a real horse's patoot. Uh, okay, here, here's what you do. Swear, wait, like, what's this, 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 horse's this, patoot? Oh, yeah, no, mean? it's a horse's butt. What? It's a horse's anus. It's a rump roast of horsery. Yo, you mean um, that's a saying? Uh, oh, no, no, no. This, this, I, I just want to make sure he feels good about giving me 20 bucks. Uh, oh, okay. There's a lot I of see, synonyms. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> um, so this is the trick I've learned. If you accidentally say something that that rubs someone the wrong way, you didn't mean it, but it, it got it's getting misinterpreted, or you don't understand something, I just give give me some indi- idiom I'm not gonna know. Uh, 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 uh what's popping slime? <laughs> I'm a Coors man. <laughs> 
That works. You just say, I'm a Coors man and shrug, and everybody goes, okay. But, okay. But that, they move on with their lives. That's it. Like, that, I've never had anyone ask a follow-up question. I get well, away with a lot. But that, also, that presupposes also, like, that like, you know that you don't know what, what they're saying. And also, you have to understand the context, because when you say it, it's coming out of the mouth of somebody who looks like they sell real estate in the Elizabethan age. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Well, then what do I look like? Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a cereal spilling motherfucker. Yeah, I don't ah. need to pick up all that goddamn cereal for I one. Got it. So, okay, so that happened last week. And then I was texting a friend of mine the other day, uh, uh, last night, and uh, uh, they were telling me they just got back home from, from traveling. And I say, oh, neat. So uh, probably not for a super long spell. And he asked me what a spe- what a long spell is. Wait, does nobody speak the fucking language anymore? What no. is happening? What I'm saying. What this is what fuck? happens when we start saying that ain't ain't a word. That's that's where this comes from. What well, spell suddenly... spell is southern, right? I mean that that that's more of a southern yeah. Yeah. spell. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like gone with the windy fucking designing women shit. <laughs> wow, what a, what, what, what a two to loop in together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a through line, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. I'm, I'm there for it. Um, it, it just made me our, feel like I'm I've, I, I'm out of touch almost. Do we? Do <laughs> we still? Because like I I feel like I am living in this thing you're project. Like I get it. I I speak old timey, right? Like do do people say folks anymore? Like I was like evening folks. Oh, I love oh, that. Oh, totally. love the president loves that. Okay, oh, he Obama. Did and he's that. real like folks. on the ball and in popular. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not the best bellwether for this <laughs> discussion. Yeah. Uh, uh, what what about uh, where's Jackie? What about reckon? Is reckon a southern what phrase? Is, oh yeah, reckon southern. Re- reckon is southern and English. That's what I Why? see. Cause, yeah, because it, it, like, dead if, reckoning if, is if you, it's it's a nautical term. Oh, okay. Because if, if you go to New York City and you say like, I reckon we'll get some lunch, people are like, fucking hillbilly. Yeah. Like, like you, you say hey, reckon. Get the fuck marches. out of here! Then, whoa, yeah, whoa! whoa <laughs> this man's reckoning over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> my own fucking. <laughs> oh, let me get my chronometer and my sextant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you you go to like this fucker's reading Master and Commander on ebook. Ow. <laughs> Oceans are now bad. <laughs> that is a good Bill de Blasio impression, though. I got to give it that. That's a very good Bill de Blasio. Uh, I, no, it, but but I knew it as, a, or I, I learned it as a, it, it feels more English than Southern to me, but I used it once in front of my parents. And they were like, oh, you reckon, do you? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, are, yeah. You reckon? Hey, hey, kid, who we dragged to Texas, you got an accent now? And I was like, Mom, Dad, please stop. They were like, no, you have no agency. You're seven years old. I think that's wait. Hold on. Did this happen recently? <laughs> Thirty years ago. <laughs> Agent I, Dr. I'm with you Fraud. on eight, by the way. Ain't ain't is a fine. Like it's weird that we don't have second person plural yep. in, the, in the English language. Every other language that I'm aware of has a way we could like. Texas has figured this out because Texas now just goes fuck it. There's y'all and all y'all. Yeah. We've just we've we've actually added a layer. We've we've converted it. But but it, like every state has a contraction and it's always considered hillbilly. Like use. You and y'all, oh, yeah. and young, y- y- yin? Yeah. Yin? yin, no, yins, yins yeah. in Pittsburgh. Like, but it makes yins. sense. Yeah. We're all groping for a way to do this very obvious term we need, and then everybody clucks at you. We're groping the queen is dead. We can say whatever the fuck we want now. <laughs> yeah. There's no such thing as the Queen's English. She can't tell us what yeah, to do anymore. Yeah, she can't tell us a goddamn <laughs> did, thing. Did, do you remember? I, I, I think I was in my 20s when I figured out what howdy means. Hello? No, uh, it's it's a contraction of how do ye do? Ah. How do ye do? How do ye? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Really? So, wait, so should should people, when I say howdy, should people go, I'm well, and if not, I'm like, excuse me, how are you? Like, should I like like try to get a response? Uh, you know what? I think you should be even more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> howdy! <laughs> howdy! <laughs> That's more Howdy. pleading. <laughs> yeah. Howdy! Howdy! Rice is having a breakdown. Cereal <laughs> spying everywhere. No one, no. One, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What, so, uh, one of the things that I've taken to do instead of saying Queen's English, when I refer to whatever I say, I just call it Christ's English. <laughs> <laughs> but you make sure to say it speak, in Aramaic? No, I just go speak the Christ's English because I assume he's from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> speak the Christ's English is a good flex. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I 
So I it just those two things happening like in the span of like one week made me feel like. But you don't normally. I, do you say how's tricks like often yeah, I, to I, people? I I I. I Never in my friendship with either of you have either of you motherfuckers we've said kept it from tricks you. to me. It's yeah. been a secret. That's never happened. We we had a meeting and we're like, I think it's time. It's time. <laughs> I it's think time it's to ready. unveil it. It's time to actually ask him how's tricks. And yeah. uh, what if someone said to you, "What's the haps?" With that, weird oh deal? no, I love that. Yeah, that's, I'm a Coors so man. It's just the same thing. Not a Coors fan. Yeah. No, I'm a Coors man. Yeah. yeah. No, but what's the haps is like. That's not old timey. Sure, but it could be. What's the haps on the craps? Shake what? Them up, what shake is the them haps up, on the craps? Shake them up, shake them. Roll them in a circle of friends and watch me break them with the seven. Wow. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Yes. No. Seven even back door little I, Joe. I, Goddamn I, British anthem. I, I left course. with the cash flow. <laughs> I drink. I drink. Can we course. play? I'm a Coors there man. You there you go. There you go. I'm a Coors man. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I, drink I drink Coors. Coors. Yeah. No, you, that's, you, that's you, not you the phrase. You shrug and you say it like, I am exhausted with your thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Coors man. Uh, <laughs> I would be shrugging a lot. <laughs> uh, Bryce, do we have another story? Uh, we do not. Good. Good job, everyone. <laughs> well, then let me let me be the first to say, since we already plugged the bones at patreon.com slash great night, please go there, give us money, you get a bonus episode, so it's not like you're just, you know, like funneling it into our slush fund. Uh, it's a better return on your investment than FTX. Uh, oh. Uh, we, oh. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, we have amazing deals. This week. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's, it's Plugapalooza. Hey, guess what? This is uh, everyone's going to go to Thanksgiving and you're going to think, oh, I'm going to get around to buying a gift. Yep. I don't know what accent I'm doing. <laughs> it's my inner monologue. Mom, Bring it home. stop. Uh, and then uh, and then you're going to realize that you can go to scamstuff.com, get for the Mono Rogue, and uh, everything will be on sale tomorrow. But right now, just the the best the puzzle boxes are on sale right now. Uh, uh, it is an amazing site for people that are hard to buy gifts for. Mm. If you have a dad or a brother, a brother-in-law, father-in-law, uh, uh, or anybody who likes puzzle stuff or cool gadgets, like kind of James Bondy sort of stuff, well, and, and, that, and, that's that. That is the site to go. Scamstuff.com. We have a good spread of, uh, like, for example, like uh, name one person you could think of that is going to be sad when they open up a box and there's a watch, and then they realize that when they click the watch, a flame comes out. <laughs> Literally nobody, uh, uh, unless somebody was burned horrifically. <laughs> yeah. Then that or person, don't buy it for that. that you really need to know the time. Does it also tell the time? It does. Oh, great. Yeah. It, it went, but it also has three fake watch faces for that that don't do anything. Uh, I'm gonna get that for my brother. That's uh, on your site. Yep. Scamstuff.com. Nice. Oh, the arson watch. I'm gonna get it and start smoking cigarettes. Nice. I'm just going to light cigarettes a lot. I'm glad you elaborated because I would like to believe that you put it on and then suddenly, like, you're an angry cartoon. Oh, just, just oh, pillows are just like, up yeah, just you. smoke coming out of my ears. Yeah. yeah. Out of curiosity, could you fly with that? Do they check for that? Yeah, you could fly with the lighter. In fact, they ah. prefer that you keep your lighters on your person and not in, uh, in uh, your, bag. your bags. But they get mad whenever I smoke in the bathroom. Uh, I, ironically, they also have ashtrays in the bathroom. Oh, 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 oh I found that out. I found out why. Why? Because heroin. Uh, uh, somebody was telling me this. Uh, uh, if you are, so people still do either get drunk or they're confused or they're scared and they're trying to calm themselves down and they'll go into the back and they'll smoke in the bathroom. Here's the problem. What you don't want them to do Just is to panic and uh, not flush it. Flushing it's also bad. But uh, put it in the trash. Oh, right. Because if they put it in the trash, they got to emergency land the plane. Oh. So if they know somebody's smoking in there, they will knock on the door and be like, look, you're not allowed to do that. That's a federal offense. We want you to get to where you're going. We don't want to emergency divert the, pl the plane. Please put it out in the thing and we can make this all, all good. Uh, uh, but if they throw it in the trash... And that is an emer that that is like you got to land the plane immediately because it might so start. So theoretically, a if I am flying across the country, yeah, and I want to go to Oklahoma, but I'm going to have to go to Houston, yeah. <laughs> when I'm about uh, forty miles Missouri, out of OKC, yeah, I could put a cigarette in the garbage, and then they would just drop me off. They got they got to they got to let you nice. down there. All right, bond good, yourself good, out, and you'll be home in time for Christmas. The good news is you'll be in Oklahoma. The bad news is you'll be in jail. <laughs> In Oklahoma. Bet you Tom mm. Mulligan never had to worry about that. Oh, 
Boy, deep cut. That's a good reference. We should look it up on YouTube. R.I.P. Uh, hey, Bryce, do we have a game? Uh, we do have a game, everybody. It is uh, one of our favorite games. It's a classic. We love it all the time. Say it with me. News. Yes. Say it. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Mr. Brushwood. Oh, no, I was saying it along with you. Oh, okay. I didn't well. know what it was, so I just sort of <laughs> said a bunch of vowels. Oh, that's what that was. You want to try it again? Want to try it yeah, one more yeah. time? You guys, you guys, no, no, you, you two. Okay, this is, okay. Yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> all right. Everybody, say it with me. News. News. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. News 6. Okay. This we is awoken it. This is the news that six. I've got uh, six news stories and uh, some semi You know they still sell porn in airports? What? Wait, what? Really? Did y'all never know that? No. Uh, I, although I did get on a plane once, and a dude was just straight up looking at a penthouse magazine yeah, in the seat next to me. Yeah, they sell it in the airport. <laughs> That's amazing. They don't. Do, they used to do like two or three. I became fascinated with this when I was a teenager, uh, uh, and uh, uh, they used to sell like two or three. But they would like it would go up to as raunchy as as penthouse. Like uh, I, I hold on, are we all the way up to club. <laughs> no, there was, it didn't go like cherry Gallery. or wee or or anything like that. But but uh, it would deep black ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I mostly know this is because of a David Cross bit where he was joking about this entire phenomenon and uh, uh, sitting down in first class and the man next to you was studiously dressed as reading the world's filthiest ball draining comeback. <laughs> Uh, although, imagine going to the restroom and you carry that penthouse with you, and you're like, uh, yeah, you you salute the flight attendant <laughs> with it as you go in. You should be whistling while you do that. And then, and then when you come out, everyone starts applauding, like officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Boy, again, and I'm not coming out for. 50. <laughs> I'm not smoking. <laughs> Don't use the ashtray. <laughs> okay. Right. That's aim. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have to. I, I have very high blood pressure. So yeah, it, it kinda... <laughs> nothing but net. Yeah, it's like nothing American sniper shit. <laughs> nothing but net. Bryce. Hi everybody. This is a game called News Six. Bryce, That's you ever jerked off in no, the ashtray of a? No, no. <laughs> Just asking. It's a time for family. <laughs> Uh, hello, everybody. This is News 6. I've picked new six news stories and uh, created a little bit of trivia that goes semi-related with all of them. we got six categories today. we got Railing On, Return Around, I'm Not Crying, <laughs> Big Friend Calling Maori, It's a Zap, Maori. and Forgive Me My Debts. Uh, we've got this on the screen behind you as well if you need it. Uh, we're going to uh, have you guys pick a category. If you get them right, you get a point. Most points wins. Uh, Brett, do you mind? Would you, would you like to play? <laughs> no. Okay. Would you like to keep score? Sure. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Heaton, since uh, since you're our guest of honor today, why don't you pick a category? Uh, I'm going to do Railing On for 600. They're going to do Railing On here on... Oh, my God. We've played this Six. game for years, and I never knew we could just announce a number. <laughs> if, if I uh, win it, I think I get 600 points. And I oh, my God. Games in perpetuity. You just hacked the game. Yeah. Uh, railway worker unions uh, are two weeks away from a strike as the latest round of negotiations resulted in failure. This is from our friends at CNN. While the most recent proposal would have given workers roughly $11,000 per worker, it didn't dress, address issues over scheduling, staffing, and the lack of sick leave. Quote, there's no movement at the table, Michael Baldwin, the president of the Signalman's Union, told CNN Business Tuesday. I don't know where Congress is on the issue of intervening, but I think the railroads are banking on Congress preventing a strike. I got a question for you, gentlemen. How long was the first American transcontinental railroad? Heaton, we're going to start with you. Please answer in miles. Closest will mm. win. How long was the first North American transcontinental railroad? It's I, the one you're thinking I was going to say long enough, but I have to answer in miles. Yeah, yeah. that would be helpful. Uh, Use the King's units. 7,432 miles. miles and 16 inches. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> 7,400 and, and what? Do you have 32 any... miles and 16 inches. I have okay. no idea. This is spoken like a man who flew to all of his gigs. <laughs> what is happening? You ain't, you ain't driven across the United States? Well, hold the on. States? The continent used to be smaller. Because the continental yeah, drift, back it was, in the day, it was been inflated like a balloon, yeah. right? Where there were yep. dinosaurs and shit back in the 80s. Yep. <laughs> do, do, uh, Brian, Brian this, this, is, uh, this is your turn now. Uh, how long was the first North American transcontinental railroad? Uh, That's true, though. Ronald Reagan punched an Ankylosaurus. That's how he became president. <laughs> uh, 
I, I want to say it's about 2,200 miles across the United States. I think that... Someone uh, doesn't believe in America as much as me. That uh, railroads tend to be a little bit twisty, so I'm going to say 2,700 miles. All right, and one inch. And one inch. Okay. To Very grow good. on. So, oh. Justin, what about you? How long was the first North American Transcontinental Railroad? 1,776 miles. Oh, that's good. So we're thinking 7,000 is high? Is that the... Is that the <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We're thinking it's I, a little I high. I believe in America. I think we could be that big if anybody would take the time to look. Yeah, You're I, so I, great. I, 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 I think that might dump you somewhere in the Bering Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Heaton is so brave. It's literally one third of the way around the planet. Mm, I believe in our planet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think that it's, it's all about confidence when it comes to units of measurement. Yep. <laughs> We've got your answers here. Heaton said 7,400 and some miles. Brian said 2,700. Justin said 1,776. We were looking for. We were looking for 1,912. Holy oh. shit. And I did not, I found a lot of conflicting results, but one of them that I did find was actually 1776 miles. I'm giving this to Justin. Ah! Ah! And he's supposed to. Did you know that, Justin? (laughs) Fuck no. (laughs) (laughs) Bing. There we go. That's a point for Justin. Uh, Brian. You're going to pick a category for me now. Ooh, I'll take uh, It's a Zap. You're going to go with It's a Zap here. For a billion points. When (laughs) the... (laughs) It's a Zap. Yeah. And this is on News 6, which is the News Uh, 6. That that, that was uh, one of the moments that, like, uh, you know, being the big brother, you're the one who learns all the potty humor first. But uh, one of the moments I was most proud of my little brother was when I had gone off to college, but I found out, through one of his friends that he got away with the biology uh, with a straight face, like, like you're going to do this and you're going to turn in the results. And Jay goes, no problem. It's a snatch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then just held gaze. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and the teacher just walked on by. It was great. I, I nearly got fired from being a substitute teacher one time because uh, a kid came up and went, Mr. Heaton, Bobby said the C word. And I was like, oh, no. Uh, kids, come here. Come here. Come here. Never say the C word. And then the kid goes, crap? And I go, aha, yes, don't say that word. (laughs) Don't say crap. That was the C word I was about to teach all of you. (laughs) Uh, This is from our friends at Kotaku. Uploaded to archive.org last week by user Gumball, all 285 issues of Nintendo Power are now unofficially available in the CBR format uh, at just over 40 gigabytes for the whole shebang. The vast majority of the collection comes courtesy of Retro Mags, a community-run project dedicated to archiving classic video game magazines. This isn't the first time Nintendo Power has been made available online by the fans as well. The last project, which was uh, in about 2016, was shut down by Nintendo. I got a question for you. Many people know Nintendo uh, has been around since the late 1800s, starting off by making playing cards. In what year did Nintendo release Japan's first electronic toy? You're going to guess mm. the year closest will win. Brian, we are going to go to you. What year did Nintendo release Japan's first electronic toy? I believe it was 1978, and I believe it was the Game & Watch. The Game & Watch in 1978. All right, we'll go to Justin now. Why isn't it just the watch? <laughs> because you could play games on it. Oh. <laughs> gaming. Ga- straight gaming. Interesting. <laughs> it was a follow-up to the to the men watch. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> God uh, bless you. <laughs> we were doing the it was, we, were, we were doing the bit. It's fine. It Let it go. It got there. It got it. It got there. Uh, in what year did J- did Nintendo release Japan's first electronic toy? I'm going to say that it was 1975, and it was uh, a <laughs> straighten watch. It was it was a rubber vibrating dog shit, <laughs> a rubber vibrating piece of dog feces. Okay. Yep. They went from playing cards, and they're like, "This the kids love it," but they said that shit in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, yeah. 1975. Andrew, what do you think? You're both wrong. It was 1972 Mario Fetus. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is Mario Fetus? Uh, it's like a zygote uh, yeah. that that 
is trying to escape a uterus. <laughs> you are, you are, and hey, it, Bryce, Bryce, you want to know what? It's precious and it's worth protecting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> All right. We've got your answers here. Uh, uh, Heaton said 1972. 72. Brian said 1978. Justin said 1975. The year that we were looking for was 1970. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're looking for 1970. Uh, if you know about the the Zapper gun, uh, they made a uh, a whole range of them with uh, sharp. Uh, they're light guns, so uh, you would fire. Uh, a light out of the fake toy gun. Like a recreational and, taser. And the, the target would have a light sensor. And so oh, look at that. Work. Yeah. Like laser tag. So they were into guns <laughs> then. <laughs> they were. It, and it was all like... Whatever it, happened. It's duck hunt. <laughs> and I basically ate them. duck hunt. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, Except for that dude who iced the prime minister. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Heaton is going to get the point. A lot news, of Abe Shinto <laughs> fans listen to this program. I know. Yeah, I know. All right. R.I.P. Abe. <laughs> that is a point for Andrew Heaton. Justin, uh, yeah. we are going to take it back to More you, please. More time for me. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand this episode. This is going great. Please uh, pick a pick a topic for us. I'm not crying. <laughs> You're going to pick. I'm not crying. Here on News Six, and of course that's the news. That's six. Yeah. That's funny. Thank you. <laughs> this is from our friends at The Verge. Nice touch. Nice touch. TheVerge.com. Uh, Glass Onion, the follow-up to the hit murder mystery film Knives Out, oh, right. uh, will come to theaters for one week starting tomorrow as we record this. After this short theatrical run, the film will stream on Netflix starting December 23rd. 600 theaters in the U.S. from all the major chains will have showings, and you don't need to have seen the previous film. Uh, I've got a question for you. How heavy <laughs> is the world's largest onion? Holy you're, shit! You're gonna finally guess, something in my wheelhouse. These games are so good. You're gonna guess in. Uh, you're gonna guess a weight in pounds. Closest in pounds. without going over is going to win. How heavy is the world's Ooh. largest onion? I think it's some bitch, man. This fucker's got layers. <laughs> I feel like it's a it's a fat one, man. It's a big old onion, dude. This thing is. Whew, whew, you see it, and you're gonna be like, shit. <laughs> How am I going to get that in my car? <laughs> That's what you're going to say. Yeah. And and its weight is 666 <laughs> pounds. All right, 666 pounds. Yeah. It's devil's onion. <laughs> you said it, not me, brother. Heaton, what do you think? How heavy is the world's Legalize largest it. onion? 120 pounds. You're going to say 120 pounds. Mm. Why? Why? Well, I think it probably would be 600 pounds, but it emits some kind of gas that creates levity. And so it it, uh, so it, floats. it becomes a floating onion. I thought about going negative, yeah. but I'm going to go 120. <laughs> okay, good good strategy. Yeah, Brian, what about you? How heavy is the world's largest onion in pounds? One pound, Drew. It's one pound. I was gonna nice. Say one pound, because it is closest without going over. All right, fantastic guesses. Let's take a look at what we were looking for. The world's largest onion is not the Judge Judy theme. I need to move that button so I don't play the Judge Judy theme. Why do we even have that button? <laughs> we were looking for 18 pounds, yeah. uh, pounds 11.84 ounces. That's a Brian point. Hey, Good job, this, Brian. This dude, all right. That so still this looks is pretty grown, big. Grown by Tony Grover. We have a picture here. His name is Grover? He's, That's yeah. a bit... He's kissing that onion. He looks he looks amorous you with see that him onion. Kissing that onion. It looks like a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who thought it. It do, it does look like a scrotum. It You're yeah. right, nut. I think he wants the nut on that onion. Scrunion. Wait, yeah. hey, can we see that onion film? Uh, <laughs> the the one that's the sequel to Knives Out. Can we go see that? <laughs> you wanted to see the picture. Oh, oh not right now. Yeah, okay. I mean, All right. Oh. No, not the not the testicle blowing. Not one. the scrotum. <laughs> no, <laughs> the one that's the sequel the to the Knives Out one. Yeah. 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 You can. You are free. That's at your discretion if that you would like to see it. man. Go. Either or. Whatever's at the Alamo Draft House that week. <laughs> that's right. All right, that's going to be a point for Brian. Hey. hey, we are halfway through this man. game. What are the standings? Are the right now? standings. Brett. It's a nail biter. Mm -hmm. We have Justin with one point. Mm. We have Mr. Heaton with one point. Mm. We have Brian one point. Oh. Oh. It's like we're tied. The, that's it's very much like you're that. very. <laughs> I think it feels that way. Way. We have yeah. Heaton who's very perceptive. <laughs> we have an onion of a guess. Mm -hmm. 
He has because layers. of layers. He has the yeah. layers. All right, let's. Uh, we got three. Now you would think that <laughs> with one point each that they would be tied, and yet <laughs> they are not. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be here for it. Why is this movie not on Netflix tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> they want hardware. Like, they, 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 like, this is like, what's the movie that everyone's going to watch on streaming after eating? No one uh, wants weird, to eat. Weird, the Ali story. Actually, if uh, uh, Disney has any say in it, it'll be Andor oh, broadcasting yeah. on ABC but and then FX. But you had to talk to everybody. Have you seen Andor? Do I have to explain Andor? <laughs> It, that's Andor. He's Forrest Gump for Star Wars. <laughs> he's just going around. He is he's just... like he's like like Lieutenant Gollum was very mad, <laughs> <laughs> but eventually he decided to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, you just broke that show for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got three more topics left to go. We're gonna go Jesus. back. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Man, can you can you hold it in God. for a little bit? God. We got three go. more we got three more topics here. We're gonna start with Andrew Heaton yet again. Our remaining topics are return around, big friendly calling Maori, and forgive me my debts. Railing on. You're gonna go with a railing on hero. Wait, wait, hold on. That was a joke. Wait. Uh, no, we yeah, already one. did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. We already uh, did that. We'll do... Hey, don't do that to me. <laughs> Re- return around. All right, we'll do return around on six. going to kill you? Horison is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> the Supreme Court on Tuesday cleared the way for the imminent handover of former President Donald Trump's tax returns to a congressional committee after a three-year legal fight. The fight, this is from our friends at AP, the court without comment rejected Trump's plea for an order that would have prevented the Treasury Department from giving six years of tax returns for Trump and some of his businesses to the Democratic-controlled House Ways and Means Committee. Got a question for you. The IRS e-file project was initiated in 1986, and that year they took in 25,000 returns. How many returns did the e-file process did e-file process in 1990, the first season, the first tax season, where it was rolled out nationwide? We're guessing uh, a number here. Everyone's going to guess, and the closest uh, will win. We're going to start with Andrew Heaton here. Uh, on the first year of nation of the nationwide e-file for the IRS, how many returns did they process? Two hundred thousand. All right, you're gonna say two hundred thousand. All right, uh, Brian, we're gonna go to you now. Well, if I was last, I'd say one. <laughs> but I'll... there's real shit software that year. <laughs> yeah. well, wait, no, wait, I... no, no, no. This isn't closest without going over, right? Correct. Yeah, it's this just is closest. this is just closest. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, like I think it was ceremonial and it was like a test thing. I'll, I'll say fifty. It was 1986 was the first one. No, then, that's when the project was started. But 1990 is is the year in question. Right. I, well, it, it, you you'd assume it'd be over 25,000. Yeah. When they did the test. Whoops. <laughs> well, you haven't guessed I, yet. I so. didn't read that. <laughs> uh, I'll say. Uh, oh, jeepers. Um, How many returns did e-file process in 1990, the first nationwide tax season? Seven. 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 Uh, seven. Uh-huh. Keep going. You're going to yeah, say 700. Seven. There you go. One oh, more. One more. Okay. You're going to say 7.7. 7. I've tried yeah. to get him to 77 billion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 7 million, 770,777. All right. Gotcha. Uh, Justin, we're going to go to you last on this one. How many returns did e-file process in A milli, a milli, a milli, milli, a milli, a milli. One million tax returns. Oh. One. Million. million tax return. So you have one million seven hundred million. No, seven million. And seven a, and two hundred twenty thousand. Seven hundred thousand. So, so yeah, you had two hundred thousand. Yeah. He had one million. Yeah. One I had million. a lot. One million. Yeah. You had seven million. Uh, yeah. You know what? Here, I'll Everybody go over it in New York City filed their taxes <laughs> electronically in nineteen ninety. Before there was internet. Or just when there was internet. Maybe. maybe. Well, let's find out. Uh, we've got your answers here. The answer we were looking for was... 4.2 million returns! Oh! That's a Brian Brushwood point. Oh, we're all doing math in our heads right now. I'm pretty sure I won. <laughs> Bri- if you yeah. just, it, Brian won the point on that one. Hey! Yeah. Woo! Hey. 
Is the speaker not working? I'm, I'm okay. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 it was a, a, a large. It probably project. got some cereal in it. <laughs> no. 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 It it used to be you would have to uh, uh, plug plug into a modem to do the connect. Uh, you had to plug into a modem to connect, and uh, and uh, uh, it took them a few years to figure out all the kinks. But when they first when they opened it up because of uh, they 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 partnered with uh, who was H and R Block and Jackson Hewitt. So it ended up being pretty widespread. Uh, once oh, because they were doing it. So it was right. like like people weren't like doing it on their personal computer. They were going to a place to do it, and that was technically considered an e-file. Right, because before then, you would have to print out the whole thing and actually send it mail in, it, which is You'd which is also it. tough for the IRS. They don't want to keep. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Poor babies. <laughs> it's... Oh no, the fire <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Well, you got it. You have to. Oh, oh <laughs> paper! I'm getting paper cuts. Oh, what the IRS? Ah. Well, just, it has to I be... wish there was e-file. <laughs> Where are the computers? But. Just, oh, the IRS, I just, my hands hurt. Because it's got to, you got to turn it into to data. This is a good enemy to make. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is a good enemy to make. Only go I feel well. like this is a good, good battle to fight. Uh, apparently, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be amazing? You get audited, it's like two years from now, and then your caseworker, Doug, is just like, um, oh, I'm sorry, there's just... <clears throat> So much paper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My fingers hurt, Mr. Young. My fingers hurt. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Am I? Am, oh, wait. Is that sorry, right? the judge has already called it. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, this, uh, no one's going to be played. Hold on. The Stop, the <laughs> Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. I'm not going to audit. Oh. Stop this shit like the Brazilian elections. <laughs> Hold on, Lula. <laughs> Wait, is that right? Four point four point two. Oh, yeah, it is. Justin got the point on that. Oh! Yeah. It was actually. Oh. It was actually really close. Sorry about that. I am not good at math. Neither am I. I didn't point it out. <laughs> Thank you to PC Pat for letting us know that one. Thank right. you. Uh, we've got uh, two more here. It's going to be Brian's pick of categories. Uh, we've got it's. Uh, we know we've got. Forgive me, my debts and big friend calling Maori. Oh, big friend calling Maori. All right, we're gonna go to big friend. I wonder when big friend called between Monday and Wednesday. Uh, uh okay. Yeah, that sounds good, Justin. Yeah. Nobody else gets that reference? No. Mitch Albums, Tuesdays with Maury? I'm uh, Coors, man. I guess I'm on a fucking island here. Uh, yep. <laughs> talking hey, do about you want dying people. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Do you want a receipt what? with that? Is one? that Mitch Album? No. It's <laughs> somebody somebody who shouldn't be Somebody fucking right remember now. Tuesdays with Maury. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch it's Albums Maury. calling oh in. Oh, my He's God. Like, he wanted Maury. to thank me. Well, no. Maury's dead. That's the point of the fucking book. Still calling me. <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got a we got a question here. American Thanksgiving is coming up, and that means that the holiday shopping season is here with sales across Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Digestion Weekend, and oh shit, I forgot Wednesday. For example, we're gonna have a ton of great deals over at Scam Stuff. Don't forget to join the mailing list, gimme.scamstuff.com. Gentlemen, uh, Black Friday has been used to name all sorts of historic events, even going far as back as the U.S. Gold Panic of 1869. In round. You are going to name for me a year in which a Black Friday event occurred. This is per Wikipedia's Black Friday single days disambiguation page. Uh, you're all going to guess a year. Uh, if you're correct, you will get to continue on. If you're wrong, you're going to get eliminated. Last person uh, standing is going to get the point. Does this that make sense? This, no, this is great. Okay, great. Uh, we are going to start with Brian on this one because it's his turn. Uh, please give me uh, the name of a... Oop, I'm going to... Open that in another window so you guys just don't <laughs> see all of the answers here. <laughs> uh, give me a year, Brian. When, uh, when, when it, did it, the Black it, Friday it Does it have to be a Black Friday or a Black Monday or uh, Black specifically Friday? Specifically Black Friday. Okay. Specifically single days. So not Black Friday, the, holi the holiday shopping. I'll store. say I'll say 1929. Uh, Brian's going to say 1929. That answer is... Incorrect. No, 1929 Black Friday. But you still got a chance if everyone else screws up. Justin. 
Is it 1919? 1919? Yeah. Uh, let's find out. 1919, the Battle of George Square in Glasgow, Scotland. That's yeah! correct. Oh, still in this game. Heaton, can you give me the year of the Black album. Friday? I'm full of them. <laughs> 1898. Here's a 1898. This is a stay in the game. That answer is... Incorrect. Oh, that was fast. So no one cares about the Yugoslavian genocide of 1898. I guess we, I'm the only we, one. Hmm. Which is the one that ended the Roaring Twenties and ushered in the Great Depression. That was a Black Monday, wasn't it? That was Black Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. Th then the Black Friday, I guess. Garfield hated it. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't remember if it's 87. I, I'll say 1987 was there one. Uh, well, you you don't get a guess. You already got it wrong. No, I get to no, no, I get no, to wonder out loud. Is, is loud. Oh, 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 yeah. just having Post, a good posterity. Yeah. yeah. No, sorry. Was, get the cereal out of your ears. No, don't what, don't. What, what were you guessing again? Uh, yeah. I was thinking eighty seven because I remember seeing it on the news when I was in Norway. I think uh, eighty seven. Well, they call it Black Friday. Uh, yeah, and your kids might be doing oh. it. I <laughs> know uh, you were in Norway. The Edmonton Mark, tornado. Mark, Mark, Black Friday. <laughs> The Edmonton uh, tornado. There was an F four tornado in Edmonton, Alberta. So it's still not. Um, there the right was an F four. No, that's right. That's in 1980. <laughs> Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. <laughs> They're calling it Black Friday. <laughs> okay, we got one more question. We got this. The worst Mike Myers character. We've ever <laughs> I swear to God, they're not as bad as the Triumvirate. <laughs> oh, no, 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 the Pentaverate. Pentaverate. All right, we have one last they one They get here. a little fucking reachy, some uh, of those characters. Heaton, uh, you've only got one to pick. It's Forgive Me My Debts. I'm going to go with Forgive Me My Debts. Good call. Thank you. Good call. Perfect. Good call. You're on New Six. You don't look crashing. How, how many points is this one worth? Oh. points, right? I am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no way anyone's going to catch me. Are we just me. battling for silver? Is that yeah, what we're doing? I'm yeah, I'm winning. I mean, unless Big this one's worth me. a lot more points. Except this one is probably going to be worth, yeah, I think it's going to be worth six points. Oh, no. so anybody's okay. game. All right. Got a question here for you. Mostly just I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like Carrie Lake in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the Biden administration announced it would pause student loan repayments for another 60 days while it settles legal disputes over student loan forgiveness. Quote, I'm completely confident my plan is legal, said President Joe Biden in a video posted to Twitter Tuesday referencing his student loan forgiveness program. Thank you to CNN. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. Before we go to the actual question, great Dave Weigel tweet today. Uh, uh, it just had that quote of Joe Biden saying it with like the, the words underneath it. And it's just when you pull out your vape in front of a no smoking sign. <laughs> I'm completely I'm confident. I'm completely confident my plan is legal. <laughs> I got a question for you here. Only federal student debt will be forgiven under this plan, not private debts. In what year was Sally May, one of the biggest private lenders, founded? You're going to guess a year closest will win. We're going to start with Justin on this one because it is his turn. Justin, Robert Young, when was Sally May? Oh, Sally, 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 Sally May. Sally May founded on this day on April 20th, 1969. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right, April twentieth, nineteen sixty nine. We're looking for a year, but I'll that was, make sure that, that was when the Felix, have it. Felix Baumgartner was born. <laughs> was it? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! He's the original age lord. Did you know Hitler was born that day too? <laughs> on in nineteen sixty nine. Well, no, but just on on four twenty. <laughs> That'd be real kind of impressive. That'd be impressive. Yeah, it wouldn't be. <laughs> it he would be time traveled. You know. Yeah. 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 And yeah, Hitler always full of surprises. That's right. Justin, we're looking at you here. In what year was Sally May founded? Oh, wait, no, you gave us a second. <laughs> okay. What the fuck, dude? How's tricks? <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Yeah, uh, another cereal. Uh, oh, all right, now we're going the other way. Uh, 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 in what uh, year was Sally May founded? 1909. I was there. Yeah? <laughs> yep. That's the end of that story. <laughs> Great. What was wait wait no wait, was, uh, I remember it 1909 uh -huh. yeah Sally May historically did what uh, what, what profession uh, oh she Sally she, May she uh, showed too much stocking that was her profession oh yeah <laughs> <That's her job. laughs> too yeah. much stocking Sally was her name and remember we were drinking at a bar playing Hearthstone sure yeah and we were like. Uh, <laughs> And we were like, you should change your name to Sally May. And she goes, what am I going to do then? Uh, sell private debt to students? And we're like, 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. He's know. like, well, I got too much stocking, so I might as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Brian. What year? <laughs> oh, oh, no, you gave me 1909. <laughs> what the God fuck God. is happening? <laughs> We're really skidding into the end of this year. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> We're a goddamn rambling wreck. We're dropping fucking gears and springs all over the road. <laughs> it's a holiday episode. Holy shit. <laughs> shit on the floor. Fuck. <laughs> this is a disaster. And don't eat the cereal that's down there. Either. We should fucking apply for federal relief. We're applying for federal relief. This is such a disaster. <laughs> Andrew Heaton, in what year was Sally May founded? It was founded on April 5th and March 5th. Of 1970. <laughs> okay. There we go. 1970. <laughs> this says Andrew Heaton. That's the main answer. It's 1970. Uh, why, well, do you, why, do you, why do you believe it's a seven? It's, yeah, it's a why? Well, I, I, I figured it's probably not in the 80s because that doesn't seem like a thing Reagan would have really enjoyed. So I don't think that's it, right? Uh, and then I figured if I do anything over Justin, I get credit for anything in the future, right? So like anything over 1970. So I was like, I'm not going to do 1969. That's a little on the nose. Yeah. 1970 kind of sounds like I had a plan. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good strategy from Andrew Heaton. All right. We got your guesses here. Uh, Brian has said 1909. Andrew Heaton said 1970. Justin Robert Young said April 20th, 1969. The answer that we were looking for is... Not Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> now Bryce, now Bryce. <laughs> we were looking for whenever you play it by oh no. my god 1972 oh. that oh, is why I got it that's uh, so you say you say it back yep. in 1909 that was just some lady with really tall socks <laughs> yeah uh, she was showing too much sock yes do I win cereal what do I win uh, uh, Andrew Heaton is the winner on yes, that yeah. question yeah. and with seven points Andrew Heaton's the winner Thank right you. Yay. Thank you oh, very much. Heaton, go grab your cereal. You won the cereal. Yep. yep, yep go grab, grab yep, your ceremonial go. cereal. <laughs> there it is. Don't. There you go. Uh, thank you to uh, everyone. Uh, can someone hold this? <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. For the love wow. of God, don't spill that cereal. <laughs> it's, there you go. Thank you. We're going to be picking that shit up for months. <laughs> if you have an idea for a game or a question, email, anything, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. We'll if you send it, it in, we will uh, uh, consider it. So please make sure you do that. Uh, a also permit that. for camping on the cereal? Hey, Brett, what did we learn today? I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, what did we burn? Oh, the, you're I said, I said I'm today. eating bad. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, we have learned that many people who become great at a thing did it to impress their mom. No chocolate. That was actually yet. something I, I learned earlier today. There's no chocolate. No. Uh, we learned that Justin's uh, uh, getting a. <laughs> But Justin's getting a phrase to source for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Brian is straight up. Uh, Bri Brian. Brian is name? straight what? up old timey. What are you doing? I don't know. Get it together. Take it one. Take it one. Take it one. No, no, no. Go back and do that one again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bryce yeah. is straight up old timey. Boom. And that Heaton's companion friend is delightful. Hey. Hey. I learned America's significantly less long than I thought. Uh, yeah, it's not 7,000 miles you, you, want, you want to know what? I think it's a perfect size. <laughs> I think it's totally normal. Yep. I, I, I think that I wouldn't wish for it to be any different. Yep. Not I, how long I, your country I, I think, I is. It's, it's what you do with your country, right? Yeah. Right. I think it's mostly Canada's that, not complaining. It, it, it's mostly the media that, that makes you think it's going to be long. I mean, the, you're sitting here looking at other countries, yeah. and they're like, ah, oh, China, very big. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe America had a big meal. Hey, uh, still a great night, though. Yeah, uh, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Woo! Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>